Okay. Yeah, that last one was a doozy. I know. We're going to do it a little easier with this one. So now that we've gone over model placement, let's go over the last little bit. Grouping and weighting. So let's go back to lines 56 through 61 to look at what these do. Let's start with weight. Weight basically prevents you from advancing any further in the level until all enemies that were spawned up to that point have been defeated. It doesn't have a parameter. This command just is accompanied by the sub command at, just like spawn is. The sub command at is just like before. It's based on the X coordinate of that level. Once the left side of the camera hits this point, that's what triggers the weight command. Let's scroll down in the code and count the many different spawns until we get to line 105 and 110. There are five spawns up to that point. On line 110, the value is 320, which means once the left side of the camera reaches the X coordinate 320 on the level background, the camera won't scroll any further until you've beaten those enemies. You can also see where that point is by using your mouse. The group command is responsible for having models spawn in groups. You want to control the flow of how often enemies are spawned, especially when you're fighting a horde of enemies and a wait command is in effect. Going back to line 60, you can see that this has two parameters, the minimum value and max value. What this means is that the number of enemies on the screen will have gone below the minimum value then any remaining spawns will happen until the number of enemies have reached the max value. So the max value controls how many enemies can be on screen at the same time. So let's say you have set 20 enemies to be spawned. If a group command hasn't been declared, then all 20 of those enemies will spawn at the same time. But you may want the enemies to spawn in groups of five where you fight all five, finish them off, then another group of five respond until all enemies are gone. So we don't want any more than five enemies on the screen at a time. So we know that five will be our maximum value. You don't want any additional spawns to happen until you've defeated the last one on the screen. So that means there will be zero enemies on the screen when the new spawns appear. So in this case, the minimum value would be one because going below one is zero. So the command would look like this. Group space one space five. How and where would you trigger this though? Correct, using that at sub command again. Same as wait and same as spawn. So we just put at 320. So when it comes to declaring this, it must be done before you've declared the spawns. And if you want to declare a wait, at a certain point in the same time, the wait command should go before the group command. Let's look at lines 143 to 147. You see a wait being called at X coordinate 500, and immediately after, a group command of three by three are called at the same coordinate. That means that any other spawns declared after line 147 will be grouped where there aren't any more three enemies at a time on the screen. And as soon as the number gets below three, another spawn happens to bring the number back up to three. This will happen until all spawns for that weight have been defeated. Hopefully you're taking notes and at least using this video as a reference. Again, there's a cheat sheet to help with memorizing this information here in the lesson. All right, now it's time to start putting this into practice because we're gonna build our own small quick demo next. See you soon. We hope you're learning what you can from these free tutorials. Again, if you feel you need more in-depth or extensive services or extra help with learning and getting the most out of this and don't want to wait on the videos, please feel free to join our DBH community for only $5. That doesn't mean you can't ask questions on here though. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post those. Like and share this playlist for those who may need it. At the end of the day, we just want to help people build their engineering and coding skills to be efficient wherever they want to go. I'm Kevin. Appreciate you watching and be brilliant. Peace.